Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. All right, we are, I got, I got thoughts here today. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the video is taking an absolute forever time to render because of the speed ups and the music and all the good stuff from yesterday. Um, it was like an hour and 56 minutes, something like that. It was, it was well over an hour and I've knocked it down to like 34 minutes. Because I actually had the pocket in auto time lapse, I had to <clears throat> make adjustments. I had increased everything by like 800 like I normally do and had to drop it all the way down to 200. So I had to play around with some stuff, but nonetheless, good morning. Um, it is pretty cold outside again. Uh, let's see what we're up to now. The thing that is the, at home it's actually warmer than it is um, at the airport. The airport's trying to say it's like 44 degrees outside. I don't think that's accurate. It is in Williamsport though, okay. Let's see what the weather channel's saying on this one. So it's six degrees Celsius, 44 and six already. So it's warming up. So I'm trying to get a hold of Tim to see if he wants to do dry run falls with me. I kind of rather have someone with me on this trip um, because I feel like it could be a little bit sketchy. Um, I am going to pack the kitchen sink in case we get there and we have to make the walk to the falls. The main thing is, Sony, it changed the battery in it. There is one picture of my aunt's Christmas tree that I didn't take off yesterday, but um, oh, these stupid bear. Anybody, if you question these um, uh, bearskin hoodies, has anybody out there in this land bought them? I know when Tim and I were talking about them, we looked at it and people were like, this is fraud, this is super thin, the zippers are garbage. And it had a lot of negatives. This is a scam. So we never even, and the price of them is outrageous. I think they're like $160 if, if I remember correctly. I really don't want to even look, but you know what? Let's, let's just for shits and giggles. And now they have a, a rain thing that goes over top of them. 60% off today. December 8th, select your size. I'm curious. $249.88 before the 60% off. What a bunch of crap. So you save $149.93, you get it for 99 bucks. No way in hell. <clears throat> Anybody wondering what I'm talking about, in case you have not seen these stupid things, but it's the Bearskin Tactical Hoodie 4.0. But if you get online and look around, people are like, I bought this for my husband or my boyfriend and it's garbage, the zippers don't work right. It's super thin, wind blows right through it. Gotta watch. And YouTube runs all kinds of scam ads. I mean, a lot of the advertisements on YouTube I have found are absolute scams and they don't do a damn thing about it kind of pisses me off in a way so alrighty um, I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit here try to get things around because I need the tripod filters I want to take the filters for the phone because the moment app I can actually change my ISO and my shutter speed I'm kind of curious if I use the ND filter that I have for it because I have the one that just kind of like plugs over top of it and see if I can't make that uh, possibly um, compete with the RX-10 Mark IV. All right, the other thing I had to do today is actually take the mics from the full system and connect them to both the, now you're on the Action 5, and the Pocket 3, because my dumbass forgot to pull the key charging case out of my bag last night and throw the other mics on. So this is the first time my new fuzzies will actually get used. I could use the old fuzzies, but these are so soft. I gotta see about getting more of these for the future. You know what? I'm not even wearing it. It's sitting on the counter here. Well, let's put this on. Hold on. Don't mind my big fat guts. <laughs> All right. So literally on the trip to New Jersey yesterday, this is how I went. I had dual mics on the whole day long. Um, but yeah, so now both of the, the new ones are connected to cameras, so I have backups. 
Um, if Tim were to come along, I mean, they'll be in the charging case, so I'll have, I can let him borrow one of those if he were to come along <clears throat> for his action. Four? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to hear from him or not, but I mean, unfortunately, the video is taking forever. It's quarter after 11. I figure if we can leave here by, I'd say 1230, I'll give it another hour and 15 minutes this is at 51 percent rendered um that shouldn't be too bad should be able to make that work um as long as we don't have to hike if we have to hike that's gonna mess things up but on the so there's dry run falls and then if we go out the rest of the road i won't do high knob or the overlook because there's nothing it's everything's dead so i don't think that would even be worth doing but go up the other road toward, um, I forget what overlook that is, but there's another fall out that way that Mike and I have hit. So, which I never, I've passed it and never knew it was there. But anyway, just do some low shutter. Like I said, I'm going to get the filters out for the phone as well. What did I do with that case? Did I put that in the closet too? I might have. I don't know. I, I go through things. It's like I put all this stuff away and it's like, ah, I'm never going to need this again. Then I start pulling stuff back out and then I make this huge mess I have going on back here. <laughs> it's it's a disaster. So and then I got a sleeping bass at home, which these guys never saw the video yesterday. I meant to, but got home. We had our hoagies, which at 3.30 this morning decided to, the hot peppers erupted my stomach. I felt great. So I got this bad basset, and I got this bad minpin. So puppies are going to go along. But um, the nice thing is both spots are really close to where I can park. So I can put them in the car and not have to worry about them on that part. The downside is there's not a lot of places to walk them up there. Um, high knob, if you go out that one road, it's about the only place. So I'll have to take them somewhere else to actually get them a, a decent walk yes yes what are you doing what are you doing you big baby girl you big baby girl yes oh puppy 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 oh you did bye bye puppy <laughs> did you miss daddy yesterday i know he didn't he was very happy just being with his mommy but this one here she misses her daddy this is what she misses she misses these belly pets yeah, this is this is why I call her the Fit Basset, because look at this. Just chest, and then ooh, slims right out. Yes, you do. You slim out there, big girl. She's like, get the camera off my nose. <laughs> Eat that twofer. Eat that twofer. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the quality. It was funny, because when I was taking... I did a screenshot of the picture I was taking while I was holding the RX-10 with the, the zoom extended. Man, you can read all freaking writing on that camera with this camera. It's pretty good. Pretty damn good. I am happy with it. Okay, time to get things around and figure out what we're taking. I mean, it's not like I'm taking a lot of stuff. Oh, one other thing I was looking at, too. So, you saw the whole ginormous concept. So, this is the magnet mount um, currently. But if you look, so there's a bolt in the bottom that holds the this head which is not really that good and then everything else so my concept is unbolt the magnets completely hook them to one of my bars which will drop this thing down i should still be able to run quarter 20 up through into one of the joby ball heads which I know will hold <clears throat> or just run a quarter 20 and have it flat the camera flat plated to it just have the magnets these are really strong magnets I just I mean this this particular system is a little janky um, that was one of the bad things in the review is this Pell King head it will even though you crank it down I mean you can see where there's marks on it for my use pliers and it's still sometime, it, it's moving right now. It, it, it already released. So it's not a great head. That's my other concern. But if I can get it lower, hmm, 
maybe put it on the roof after all. We shall see. This stupid jacket even gets worse, so if you go with the rain version, it's $500. They charge you another $250 for the rain jacket. But of course, right now with their 60% off, it's $169.95. Should I be an ass and test one and tell them how bad it really is? I wonder what their return policy is. Ooh, there it is. Can I return my product if I don't like it? Yes, of course, we have 16,800 however made a purchase between October 1st and December 1st in the same year. Return exchange window ends December... So, okay, they do have a return policy. Hmm. Nah. Alrighty, no, this is not World's End yet because I'm waiting on Tim to be on his way to meet me at Walmart. And I forgot the big hook, so I'm going to have to run into Walmart and get another one. So I have two. So we can hook them because we are maybe going to dry run falls but if we do that'll be last we're gonna go to the other path i cannot think of the name of it he texted me the name of it hold on he was joking when he said it uh did, did, did double run we did double run i think new year's last year with mike with I have got the filters for the Sony. I've got the filters for the phones. So we are going to try to mimic the Sony with both the iPhone and with the S24 Ultras. Because there's a nice stream that runs through there. I know there's some areas that Mateo's not going to be real happy about. I do have their jackets with us. But right now we're over at the um, <clears throat> Indian Park. I just got some photos of the ducks, which you've probably already seen, or you'll see after this clip, since I mentioned it. Um, but I got to pick up a dookie right now and then we're going to take a lap around the park and then I got to run into Walmart and get another hook. I have got the entire Oakley kitchen sink backpack full. I've got the tripod. I've got a Joby gorilla pod to get low angles. I wore my dirty jeans. So I'm not going to, you know, if I get down on the ground to, to get a shot. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're prepared. Um... I know there is a mount on the bar. I did bring the bar so we can hook the phones in as well as the camera at the same time. So we're not trying to jig around things multiple times. So, uh, but, got a, and I got clamp mounts. I got the, because the GoPro clamp mount was in the tote that Mike gave me back. Um, and then I've got the one that I got over at uh, the country closet um, set up with it. So I got, two clamp mounts for the actions for the action four action five and once tim and i get together mics are going off that worked out i feel like better um it's not windy uh it might be about 10 degrees colder up that way so i do have an extra shirt got their jackets yeah we're gonna make a little uh double run adventure today and get a probably a crap ton of photos but i'll also be able to mount you guys to trees and the dogs to trees and video and and video it and take photos at the same time so you can kind of see the stress of the progress process might make this a long video honestly on purpose just to show you that you can't go far you can't go fast when you're doing photography <laughs> you know it's that it's that p word mike keeps saying to me what is it pay patience i think that's what it sounds like something kurt has very very little of but in order to do a nice job, sometimes you just, you, you got to calm down. Having these guys with me is, is one of the stress factors. Yeah, part of the pond here is actually frozen over. It's funny because the ducks are walking on it. I think I got a photo of a couple of them out walking on it. This is a pretty park, don't get me wrong. And it's, it's not too uh, inconvenient for a nice, you know, quick little outing. This is always the problem right here with you. You always stop at this tree, Miss Thing. Boy, you're blending right in with the snow, <laughs> with the ground and everything. She's camouflaged, for God's sake. Mateo, you might stand out better in this, in this scene. Because we got some snow on the ground, so come on. Come on, let's get a lap so we can get your hook and then get on to the... Get Uncle Tim and get moving here. She's like, I need to do potties, Dad. I need to sniff because I'm a bass and I need to do potty. See, you're camouflaged in really bad with this because the snow and then the ground. Priya is in full camo gear and I wore mine. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a fun little... It was funny because when Tim said it, 
he was totally being a wise ass. He goes, you want to do double run? I'm sitting there going, yes. Yes, actually, that does sound like a freaking awesome time because there's a there's stream all the way through there. And as moderate as it is, we're going to make it super extreme. Unfortunately, this is the biggest freaking one I think Walmart carries. I know we had a bigger one back in the day, but don't see it now. Mm. I got that other one at uh, Surplus, and this is a piece of plastic, so that ain't gonna work. Let me check camping. What the hell happened to this guy? I thought you he got a haircut. I know. Looks good. Thanks. Looks good. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at what we were able to get because Walmart didn't have a big carabiner. So I have a six foot cable. We can go around any tree we want to now. Do that and then hook the carabiner to that and then hook them to that and woof, woof, woof. Ready to get on the road? Anytime. Let's go. Let's, get it. Let's go get some pictures, man. And we've got mounts out the ass. We're gonna be able to show you what we're doing. All right, I know I said we weren't gonna come up here first, but we decided to try this route. Yeah, you got the phone oh, Um, In the bag. Yep, you need to take
Switch bags, forgot the book. back up this freaking hill which uh i really wish we could leave one of the cameras down here and show it how it's done but i'm not coming back down to get it and somewhere right over there in the it's him and i gotta grab the fishing vest <sighs> such an idiot i switched bags halfway through because the other bag was too full and didn't grab the filters now my camera i'm able to make almost enough adjustments to still get it but with the phone it's just too damn bright we'll have to try it again another time but this is the perfect day to get it. I mean, look at that. Look at that beautifulness. You know what? I'll take you for a walk closer. Seems that the walk, the, it's so shallow here. So pretty. So, the trail we're taking is a little snowy. Oh good, we're at the end of that trail. We're on to the other one, we're not going up the high knob. Huh? I can't imagine what the other waterfall looks like, so we're not going to try that, we're just going to do a run. <clears throat> now this is paved. Which is bad enough in the summertime, but long run. Pretty out here, don't get me wrong, we got snow. You were hoping. I was. Can't wait to see what the other trails look. Yeah. Grab your tires. Yep. 
I had a guy at work one time, he was worried about sludge. He goes, you can never suck sludge. And I said, oh, shit. He said, I go about 70 for sludge. I don't know. Anymore. So he was a FedEx driver that invited me one night. Came around the, came off 15. Came down to 15, I mean, and he, he went through a spot and literally covered from one side to the other side of my car. I was pissed. I bet you were. Why get out and beat it? mailed overseas <laughs> by FedEx. Don't write me this. Where was this at? Where you coming? Come down to 15. Did I get home? Oh, okay. I was running up at the Jody's. Came around the, came up off the ramp and shh. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. That's just something you're upset. I bring you some love. Did you bring you some love? 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 Did you bring Oh, yeah, that looks like it's gonna fall. Oh, yeah, that's the last tree that's out being held up. Jesus, that's perfect. Oh, come back, it's down. I think it's a little too close for our truck, and he's like, right above me. Yeah, that's a, that's like an S10. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Okay, I'll drive around. Okay, okay. Of course, Dad, living out in the middle of the woods, thought I was gonna get a manual freaking two of the rear-wheel drives. Here comes the grenade. Oh, manual rear-wheel. That one. Yeah, well, you've been up to where he lives. They're photos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get up there in this. Yeah, he, he got stuck twice. He's like, okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to go there. But he lost his ass on. Is that a different stuff? Nope. So, yeah, because, you know, we were going to take over the payments and we let go one month because we wanted to get him. So, no. He got this off, so he came up and then brought him to take back and run sold it and lost his ass. Well, because he said good for you. Mm-hmm. I did too. He's like, where are you? <laughs> Fuck this one too. What did you have that? The, the, the 2002 quad cap coated that we ended up not having very long because it was good. You need a neutral, you floor it and the fucking tackle all the way to the bottom. You go to pass zero. Huh? The guy's like, oh, it's under power. He said, in neutral. So let me end up trading in for 2005 and we'll all be backwards on that thing. My matrix, yeah, my, well, yeah, my matrix was trading on 2002. We were good there. Oh, this is just the back way in the south of the county. You're just open out. I can get what time you end up here that way. It's, it'll say it's signed. Good there. All righty, guys, we are at double run. Timmy is trying to hook up the dogs. Oh, yeah, you might have to dig for it a little bit. And you are on the magnet mount, so I can hold this bad boy and not have to worry about the action camera as well. Yep. So we're going to try chest mount again. You guys like Uncle Timmy, don't you? Yes, you do. I don't even know if you're in the shot because you're so close. Well, Priya's not. <laughs> All right, Pri, let's go th the right way. And Mateo's going to own the uh, archway, too. All right, come on. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little brisk up here. Ah. And, of course, we are standing in the stream, so my feet are a little bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, we don't stay on the normal trail. <laughs> All right, outdoor walk started. Yeah, Priya's got a piddle going. I didn't bring the way to hook them up. I don't think we're going to get very far with light, though. What did you do here, Priya? <laughs> oh, you're locked. <clears throat> to unlock her. Priya, hold on. <laughs> you wrapping your legs up, puppy poo. Priya, are you... Is that dog? Who knows? Should have added my other layer. <laughs> yeah. Did we go down there last time? Did. did we not have the dogs with us? No, we did because we had to carry Mateo half across half across half a path. You looking for a place to drop another deuce, dude? <sighs> You've seen a dog with so much crap in him. <sighs> All right. I think we can get a shot here. I'm using the Joby. It's just making it easier. I'm showing the internet. Huh? 
I was showing the internet. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's dark down here. I can... <laughs> Excuse you, asshole! Get out of the frame! <laughs> God! Oh, it's right here! Yeah, you're looking at a leg! <laughs> yeah, got really dark. <laughs> oh, I just got a glass out. Well, I did. I'm pretty sure I got it. Priya! Priya's, uh, huh. Priya wants to be in the shot. She does. She's always camera happy. Uh, come on, lean back. That's too far. Uh, let's try to uh, fall forward. All right, let's try that. This is the trick, guys. Get in the shot. Well, unfortunately, this trip is done because uh, I try to come around this little section here. And uh, yeah, there's the carcass of what they did to my belt. And that was the, th yeah, if I would have had up to maybe 33, I probably, or 31, I could have got it to cinch. But they broke it beyond the actual length. So I'm gonna hold my pants up to get back. Ugh. Priya, go with Uncle Tim. Get going, come on, go underneath. Go on, come on, get underneath, get going. Oh, she's all, oh, she's messed up here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what'd you do here, Priya? How did, what did you do? I wonder if she's not walking. Go. You're good. Now walk. Oh. Yeah, you want me to get over a tree when my pants are going to hit the tree. Ugh. I kind of wonder. What? That would work. What's that? Oh. I want to be in the air force ball. I guess it's not what? What? I promise I'm not filming that. I'm not filming that. I promise. But... That's funny. Uh, <laughs> a teaser for Kurt's only fail. Oh. <laughs> T-W-O. <laughs> He'll give you an O every time you look at it. Right, we'll just hold the belt like this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was a very short 500 yard adventure. Recording. Yep. <laughs> you might have to omit that one. Nah, I'm leaving it. <laughs> oh gosh, this trip was doomed. This isn't a good look for us. You might be out here, your belt breaks and your pants are done. <laughs> I just let them go too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're going. Told you I needed smaller pants. That's why I got to go to Target and pick them up. <sighs> when I get together, you come home, you pants are down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I might have to use the new dog's chain to wrap around my pants to keep them up to go into the store. <laughs> I can't pick it up for you, can I? Uh, I can't take your phone away anymore. <sighs> just just hurt. His I, I, his belt broke, so he's kind of pantless in the car. <laughs> that's why he bought he's pants. Buying a pair. Can you please help me out? Phone still in my pocket, right?
Maybe it's just not. Is that it locked? That could be a good reason. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, I'm going to work. You're almost back. Almost. <laughs> Might not even been 500 yards. Maybe 250, 300. <sighs> well, you're right. We're not going the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. You know, actually, this works as a nice little chest stop. What? Like when you go to take a photo, you can keep it like right against you. Yeah. All right, guys, I, I'm going to turn you off Ugh. as I drop the camera into the. So people are pissed off behind me, but that's what it is. A little bit of Christmas down here. Yeah, so I figured out that aiming at the subject when going by, not the best way to do it. So I'm not going to be moving things around too much tonight. Come on, let's go cycle potties. Yeah, we're getting ready to go. All right, guys, got the car set up. Um, <laughs> the the uh. I had to use the long bar uh, to put the magnets on because they are three inches each. So that was six inches. Um, and then I got the uh, GoPro or the uh, Action 5 mount, action mounts, the DJI mic magnet mounts, uh, hooked to them through like the quarter 20 units. Um, had to go digging for all that stuff, but it is super low profile. I will show it to you. Uh, I don't think it's good. It won't go nowhere. I had a hell of a time getting it off the car to try to fix something because I wanted to change. I had one of the aftermarket um, magnet mounts and the DJI ones just work so much better, especially with the Action 5. Uh, I don't know. The Action 4 might hook better to the other ones, but uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just one of those weird things. But the card is formatted. I am running internal, not running internal for this. And I think I'm going to take extra batteries since nothing will be on charge. Um, I'm charging the, I believe, the original battery right now in slot two. Like I'm trying to go through them as I work them down. So every battery gets its day to get used. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we're going to head out. So first thing we'll do is probably right along the highway here, there is a lot of um, stuff. So you're in a completely different profile really right now. You're in 4K, 60, Rocksteady Plus ultra wide. Um, and for some reason, the ultra wide gave me like another three hours of record time on the SD card. So I don't know if that zooming in is using more I don't know if this might actually be clearer if this is the native lens. I don't really know. It's one of those things because I know like when like the GoPros used to tell you that this is your normal and then you're kind of cropping in on the, on the sensor on all these. So I'm not sure if this is actually where the DJI Action 5 is native in ultra wide or or wide. So, I mean, this is equivalent to like 17 millimeters, I think. Something like that. No, 13. I'm not sure. It told me, but I can't remember what it is. All right, pretty one out, went potted. Tails in the chair. As soon as Tim gets here, I'll get everybody hooked up and we will get on the road. Uh, you want to hit your flashlight on it? Yeah. I don't know if you guys are going to really see what I did here, but I uh, yeah, took the long bar and used, hooked the um, magnets to that, and then we are low profile. One thing I didn't take in consideration, I said to Tim, was uh, frost on the roof, so <laughs> I had to thaw it out with my hands. My hands were freezing for a minute there. Does it look like it's pretty straight? Uh, yeah, I'd say. Okay. Considering the curvature of the windshield. Yeah. Part. Yeah, I'd say so. But All as right. good as you're gonna get it. Yeah, so say. we got Mr. Tim back. Hey. And the, <laughs> it's like you didn't even see me. Yeah, right? <laughs>
Well, unfortunately, that was a bust. Um, all the lights were out. So we are back home. Uh, so we know 11 o'clock is too late at night. So maybe if weather is, I, you know, it doesn't matter if weather's bad. This camera's waterproof. I might have to switch the lens back over. But nonetheless, I think rain would be fine. Um, I might try it again tomorrow night now that I know I got the mounting system set up. So it's just a matter of I have the remote control. I know the angle and everything. Just hit record, let it film. I'm, I could set the phone up in the car as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry, today was kind of everything kind of got screwed up. But like Tim said, hey, we got to hang out. That was the, that was the, the important part. So, I will catch you guys in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumb up, and uh, comment. And I will see you tomorrow as always. Have a good night and stay safe.